Hey everyone, it's Melanie Ham. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make this granny square. This is the one I actually make in the sample and I used a cotton yarn for this so you can use these as dishcloths. This is a great pattern to work on your crocheting in the round if you're still new at that or just want a quick weekend project. I do have a video that I'm working on that's joining your granny squares together. So stay tuned for that. It'll be coming in the next week or two. I'm going to show you lots of different methods. This one, I just whip stitched it to the back loop from the back side. And speaking of quick weekend projects, I wanted to show you really quick my Sophie slipper sock. This is an online class that I have available and I decided to make a coupon code just exclusively for YouTube. So you can click the link down below if you're interested in making this class. It's got three different sizes. So I've got babies and kids. Um, so I'm going to run a special just for my YouTube audience because it's a great weekend project as well. So let's have some fun crocheting. So grab your yarn of choice. This is a 100% cotton yarn because I will use these samples as wash rags for my daughter's bath or for the kitchen. But uh, use whatever you would like. If you're going to make granny squares out of this, you can use some acrylic yarn, whatever you'd like to do. As always, you can check out my blog post or the little eye up here. We'll have the link to the written instructions and all the details and everything kind of written out nice and neat for you. We are going to start with a magic knot. If you need a more detailed instruction on how to do a magic knot, I have a full video dedicated to that. So you can check the link below um, to check that out if you need it. So you're going to hold on to the open end around the fingers, bring the working yarn through and give it a stitch. Now we are going to chain three and this is going to count as one double crochet. So there's one and we need a total of 12 inside the magic ring or the magic circle. So here's one. So we need an additional 11 double crochets in circle. Double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two and then the remaining two. So we need to do that a total of 12 times, but remember that turning chain counts as the first time. There you go. Continue going until you have a total of 12. All right, once you've got 12 in there, I just double checked my number. You're gonna hold on to this free end and close up that magic ring. Make it nice and tight. And then what we're gonna do is slip stitch to that initial chain. So find the top of that chain here and slip stitch, which is into your hook. Yarn over, pull through and pull through. That's a slip stitch. And now we are done with our beginning of our little sol simple solid granny square. So the next thing we need to do is do a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And that counts as a treble crochet and a chain two. All right, so this is gonna be our first corner. We're gonna just go ahead and get that done. So what I want you to do is now place a treble crochet in the same stitch that the chain five came out of. So a treble crochet is yarn over two times. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, two loops, yarn over, remaining two loops. And this is American terminology. So if you need the UK terminology, I will have that below as well. All right, so here is our corner. Now the next thing we need to do is do two double crochets in the next stitch, which is here. So we need two in the same stitch. Then we need another two in the same stitch. 
This is double crochet. This is a double crochet. All right, and then we need to do another corner. So we're going to double, I'm sorry, treble crochet in the next stitch. Yarn over two times. Two, two, and two. Chain two, one, two, and then do the other treble crochet in the same stitch. So basically the exact same thing we did over here. We need to do corner number two. Treble, same stitch. And after this round, I'll show you the next round, and then it's the same thing as big as you want to make it. So this is the only one that's a little bit different. Okay, so there's corner number two. Now we need to do two double crochet, two double crochet, and then corner number three. All right, corner number three, treble crochet, chain two, treble crochet, all in the same stitch. And sometimes it's nice to sort of like move that over. And you'll see that as we get bigger. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. Two double crochet, then corner number three, and then two double crochet. And then I'll meet you back over here and we'll take a look. All right, so we finished corner number four. And now you can see here, we've got two double crochet, two double crochet. And this is actually where that first chain's coming out of. So we are not gonna be putting anything there. So two, two, and then we'll, we'll uh, slip stitch to close it up. Once you get the hang of the pattern, this is very, very simple to do. So we are finishing up now round two, in case you're following along with the pattern. Okay, so when we get back around, all we're gonna do is slip stitch in to this space here. So don't worry about finding a good spot, just stick your needle in there, or your hook, slip stitch it. Okay, now we're gonna do something very similar to what we did before. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Treble crochet right here in this space. And this third round, you're basically going to repeat until you reach the desired size. But I'll explain, you know, how you are increasing it. Really, really simple. Okay, so we have our corner done. Now we need to do two double crochets in the next stitch. And the next stitch is going to be this treble. Okay, so see right here, there's a V stitch. Well, it's not a V stitch, but it looks like a V right on top of that treble stitch. That's where we need to place our two double crochets. And that's going to be the case for all these rounds. You're always going to place two double crochets right after that corner on the top of that treble from the previous round. Okay, so there's our two double crochets. Now we're going to do a single double crochet or just one double crochet in each stitch until we get over here to this other double, other treble crochet stitch where we then need to put the two double crochets in the top. So see there's always two double crochets on top of that treble crochet from the previous round. And that's going to be the same for all of your subsequent rounds.
Okay, our last double crochet all by itself. Now here is that taller treble crochet. So there needs to be two double crochets in that stitch. Now we do our corner, which is our treble crochet, chain two, treble crochet, all happening in that corner space. Right down in here. All right, now two double crochets in the top of this treble crochet from the previous round. All right, so there's going to be two, and then one, 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 and then two. Again, make your corner. When you get back, you're going to slip stitch to finish that round, and then you're going to keep going. So you're going to do your chain five, do your corner once you get over here, and then you always are going to do two double crochets on top of that treble crochet, and then a single stitch, you know, so one double crochet on the top of all of these, and then another set of two double crochets on that treble. Okay? That's all there is to it. Then when you're done, you've got something that looks a little bit like this. And when you're all finished, you'll head back around to that corner, you'll slip stitch it, and then you'll cut your threads and you can weave those in later. Don't forget about your initial yarn from the center. So this would be round one, round two, three. So I did four, five, six, seven, eight rounds for this guy. And he measures about eight inches across. Should be about eight inches down, which it is, because it's a square. But you don't have to make it this large. You can do as many rounds as you like. You could keep going if you want to. Um, I will say that with this ball of yarn, I got almost three of those eight inch squares. But my last one, I just was a little short to finish it up. So you can get three if you want to make these into dishcloths. There we have it. It's a simple solid granny square.